Hello everyone, it's your boy Drip Sauce again. If you're new to the channel, please like, subscribe, and we're going straight to the point in this video. The topic of today is why I don't think the concept of space or the concept of time is out of reversal in all cases. The reason why I don't take the statement of the concept of space or the concept of time as out of reversal in all cases is because I feel like a lot of fictions only mean it in an idealistic sense, as a mental idea and it's just using expressive wording for it, whereas it could just be referring to the extent or the ensemble of the idea of space-time that has been proven to exist or shown to the character making such a statement or what he's aware of that exists in the verse. For example, if he knows about a multiverse, he could simply be talking about the concept of space-time in reference to the extent of space-time which he knows about, which within that context is the multiverse. But in case of things I can consider out of reversal with the words concept of space-time is if there is shown to be at least a dimensionless, timeless, spaceless realm that exists and transcends these concepts, only then will I consider it actually out of reversal, because it's actually showing proof that it isn't referring to it in just an idealistic sense like a mental idea, and there are actually realms or a realm that actually transcends the concepts of space and time, and they are completely inaccessible by all forms of space-time no matter how great or infinite due to them being an abstraction. That's my debunk for most verses, including Masada, including Masada, because these Hajuntards be getting a whole lot of nonsense from their scans. And the thing about Masada is I'm going to be working on a debunk, which part of this idea will be included in that debunk. And then I'm going to debunk Masada completely because currently I have them at just 5D. Because there's a lot of nonsense people are going on about Masada being a measurable layers into boundless or some shit which literally isn't even a thing. Now to continue, the word concept is a commonly used word in fiction. Authors who write most of these um, wanked verses are very poetic with their writing and are always heavily focused on structure and attraction. They'll also hire people who understand what they are trying to compose to compose it for them. For example, Marvel has quite a few statements about the concept of infinity, whereas it doesn't really mean anything. It doesn't mean the concept of dimensionality, no, because in mathematics you will find the word concept and infinity together. They go ahead to specify that infinity is a concept, a mental idea, a general notion, and not a number. These authors usually don't mean anything higher than just a universe when they're using words like concept of space-time, because they have a poetic storytelling intent and not a power-scaling one. They probably don't even don't know what um, out of reversal is, because I've only seen good arguments for out of reversal from things like, um, what's it called, um, Cthulhu Mythos, um, Dragon Ball Super, Dragon Ball Z, to be honest. Yeah, I, I've only seen um, good out of verse skills from that, to be honest, because um, most of these verses don't actually have the actual qualifications to reach out of verse. They don't. It's just taking statements um, out of context most of the time. It's just taking statements out of context. The debunk to most of these things are simpler than you expect, more simple than you think actually. To put simply, the point of those scans is definitely based on the fact that they speak of infinity as a concept, as well as naming infinite dimensions stacked on top of each other, right? Well, the truth is that often the definition of infinity is confused and not well understood, which is why many professionals go to specify that infinity is in fact just a concept. The same applies to comics from DC, since it's obvious that mathematicians and the likes have been hired to compose certain aspects of those comics, for example, when it comes to, say, religion, okay? If the primary creators do not understand much, they will go and call someone who understands much more than them. Little, but sure. However, why did I say all of this? Well, it's simple. What does it have to do with it? 
simply the part of dimensions being stacked on top of each other in verses, boils down to how there are infinite realms or universes. It doesn't necessarily equate to each dimension infinitely transcending the last because there's nothing within that statement that necessitates a transcendence. Same thing with words like layers. Layers doesn't inherently mean anything higher or transcendent level. I can have layers of cake, that's literally where it came from. So yeah, we always have to fall back on the fact that the term dimensions is always misunderstood by DC, Tards, Marvel Tards, etc. While for the concept of infinity, simply by connecting to the speech above, we can find the word concept next to infinity, precisely because the authors do not want its definition to be misunderstood, since infinity is not a number, but a concept. So to say that all of this scales to outer or higher just because the space is infinite like the concept of infinity, or to say that the exact same thing but implied it to infinite dimensions stacked on top of each other blah 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 is completely incorrect. According to this logic, a one dimensional line is abstract and qualifies you as outerversal or more only because it is infinite, thus following the abstract concept of infinity. So no, in conclusion, all meanings of those scans is that there are infinite dimensions understood as realms or universes, and that simply one of them exists above the other. Note that the term stacking doesn't necessarily indicate some kind of transcendence as I stated earlier. It would be false equivalence because by following the same logic, if I stack 10 coins one of 1 euro on top of each other, I will obtain that the 10th coin is infinitely higher than the 9th, which in turn will be infinitely higher than the 8th and so on. And it's wrong. So yeah, you can easily understand the total idiocy and stupidity of these arguments that people use to wank their favorite verses. And coincidentally, these are the same people that will downplay the hell out of Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball having way more preponderance of evidence going against, going towards a specific narrative. Dragon Ball has more evidence pointing towards Outerversal than Marvel, DC, and Masada, and Umineko combined. And I can go even more because there's a lot of things that Dragon Ball has that points towards it being Outerversal. Whereas these verses just have like one or two scans and then people like, oh, and versus battles literally admitted that they ignore feeds like I literally have to scan. So guys, yeah, I just thought to give you a piece of this information and that's just some food for thought. So if you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, share, and this has been Drip Sauce. Peace out. Subscribe, like, and share. Check out my other videos.